Hello everyone, in this video, we will work on option contract example. First of all, let's look at currency call option. Currency call option grant holders the right to buy a specific currency for a specific amount at a specific price, normally called exercise or strike price, within a specific period of time applied to American option. So, let's look at one example. Now, for uh, each kind of option, we look at it from buyer perspective and then to from seller perspective. The core option we analyze today is the pound core option with strike price of $1.4 per pound, premium $0.012 per pound. The size of the contract is $31,250 pound. So, with this specification, if you want to own the contract, first of all, you have to pay premium, okay? Once you pay the premium, you are the owner of the contract and you have the right to buy how at this exercise price. So in this table, we will analyze the profit or loss of the buyer under different scenario for spot rate at the expiration date. Now, for the option holder, American option holder, you can exercise any time you want. However, for simplicity, we are assuming that the buyer hold the contract until the expiration date. And then at that date, they look to the market and find what is the spot rate and then make the decision accordingly. Okay? So before doing the math, I want to remind you a few things. First of all, for buyer, premium is always cost, is always outflow, okay? Second, you have to answer the question, will the option be exercised? Now, that one is critical because if it is exercised, profit or loss will be calculated one way. If it is not exercised, we use a different way, okay? After that now you are willing to you are able to do the math so let me exit and work on the number right here for you in the first scenario at the expiration date price turned out to be uh, 1.2 dollar per pound so here's the first point premium for buyer is always the cost. So the cost in this case is negative 0.012 dollar per unit, right? Here per unit. Now, to continue, we have to answer the question, will the option be XSI? So think about that. The holder of the core option has the right to buy how for 1.4 dollar right in the market how worth only 1.2 so do you want to exercise the option and pay 1.4 clearly no right so in this case you will not exercise you will not exercise the option you will let the option expire worth leastly so basically per pound you lost 0.012 dollar. If you want to find the total cost for the whole contract, what should you do? Very simple, right? You take the cost per unit and multiply with the size of the contract, which is 31,250. Yes, you can easily get the total loss, right? Now, a second scenario, what if how worth $1.4 at the expiration date. So, or as always, the total, I mean the premium for buyer is a cost, right? In this case, the cost or the flow is negative 0.012. Now, let's look at that. Do you exercise or not? Okay. The market price and the exercise price is the same. So basically, exercise or not exercise give you no a benefit at all right so it means that 
the total loss to EU is uh, the premium. And clearly, for the whole contract, the same thing happened. Here is, is the total loss. Okay. Now, let's look at the third situation before we, I mean the last one before we do the third. What if, what if at the expiration date, the value of top of power turned out to be 1.450. Now, you have in your pocket a contract that allow you to buy power for only 1.4. So clearly, you see that you can, according to the option contract, you can pay, you can pay a lower price than the market, right? 1.4 instead of 1.450, right? In this case, now we have to analyze our profit or loss a little bit different. First of all, premium is always the cost, no questions, right? Now in this case, you exercise and therefore you can find that you pay 1.4 and you get something worth 1.450. So when you exercise, you pay 1.4 right yep. now once you pay 1.4 you get a power you can imagine that you can sell this power in the market and you get back 1.450 and therefore the 1.450 will be your kind of revenue right so in this case when you add those three numbers up clearly you will get uh, what the total profit or loss in that situation, okay? So let me do the math here very quick for us to see. So, when you add all those numbers up, it is a positive number, right? The positive number means that it is a profit of 0 0.038. So here it is, 0 0.038. Yep. Okay. So now you can take this number and multiply with the size of the contract and you can get the total cost. I mean, total profit in that situation. Okay. Think about that. Here is you make money. Okay. Now you may think, hey, for a pound, I only get like a 3.8 cents. Is that so small? It's not at all. Look at that. How much you invest. Think about that. You invest only like a 1.2 cent, right? And now your uh, total profit is a 3.8 cent. So the huge, right? Okay. More than 100%, more than 200%. Okay. Now that is the easy situation. Now the more controversial is that uh, number. Okay. What if at the expiration date, the spot price of power is 1.401. Feel free to stop this video and think about that. However, uh, I will move on to show you the solution. First of all, the cost is the premium for sure, right? The confusing question for most of us is, will you exercise the option or not? Okay, will you exercise? During my teaching uh, over the concept of option, more in more most situations, some people will say yes and some people will say no. So assuming that you say no, I don't exercise. Now, if you don't exercise, here is your solution. You can copy this and paste here. Right? However, in that situation, you should exercise. Why? Because when you exercise, you pay 1.4, and you can sell the power in the market and get just a tiny bit of both, right? But at least you get something back, okay? So you may be able to recover part of your investment, okay? And remember that the only way to get back premium is through XSI. If you don't XSI, say goodbye to your premium, okay? So now let's do the math. So when you exercise, you pay the exercise price of 1.4 according to the option contract, right? Now you have one power with you. 
you can sell it in the market and get how much? Uh, 1.401. It is a market price, right? So, in this case, what is your total profit or loss? Uh, I will do it here. So in this case, your total loss is 0 0.011. Now, first of all, it is still a loss, right? However, you can see that if you don't exercise, here is your total loss, 12. And now you exercise, you get back a little bit and your total loss drop a little bit. Now it is 0 0.011. And clearly you can do, uh, I mean, you can multiply the unit loss with the size of the contract and you can get the total cost I mean the total loss for you okay so you can do the math easily okay so that's all for now